Okay, this is part 12 of my uh, Let's Build an Assassin Archer series, uh, set to master. Um, still on this quest, unfathom Unfathomable Depths, uh, to get the uh, permanent active effect of ancient knowledge. Uh, take all that. And we uh, got Lydia with me. We're collecting. Uh, Lydia's with me to carry stuff. She's basically just a, a hump creature, basically. Like having a camel with you sort of thing. She doesn't do much else for you. But anyway, such is life. Uh, so, um, this picks up exactly where I left off in um, part 11. We're still sort of just about at the end of this, um, this dungeon here. To get the active effect of ancient technology. Return the lexicon, basically. Um, and then we'll be heading back to Whiterun, hopefully the end of the last part of this, this should only take me about 10 minutes in here, then the last part of this episode will just be uh, raising smithing with uh, all the dwarven ingots I can make and um, can you hear the all the iron ore that I've collected and transmuted. So... Uh, whoa. Where is he walking his path? There he is. That was basically easy. Uh, I do know this dungeon pretty well. Um, we'll take all that stuff with him. And we'll pick up all the rest of this stuff just here. I've done this uh, this quest a bit in the past. I think this quest is broken, actually. Not the quest itself. The, um, the permanent active effect definitely has um, not done what it said for most of the time I've played Skyrim. So... But I will do... Um, I will do some tests on it now. I'll... Um, to uh, see if in the last part of this episode I can tell you whether it is actually working. That's not what I want. I don't want Dwemer Scrap Metal. It doesn't make ingots at all. What are we? Dwemer, we can get rid of the shit I don't need. I don't need that. Don't need that old. That gear, that gyro, or that scrap metal. Okay, let's go. We should be nearly at the end of this. I think we've just got the boss to fight now, and we're done. Pick up the shit here. Wemma ingots, dwarven ingots, beautiful. Bent scrap metal, that's good. That's good. That's. Good. I'm getting close to my weight limit. Um, got spider, he's empty. Ah, oh, there's a trap. So I need to get Lydia around this trap if I can. Come on, Lydia. Come over here. Come on. Come over here. Don't tread on the trap. Keep coming. Don't tread on the trap. Oh, you fucking idiot, Lydia. Yep. She was always going to tread on that trap. So I need to try and get down the bottom and get this turned off so it doesn't kill Lydia. You are so dumb, woman. Not that all women are dumb, but that one is. Silver garnet. Silver. That'll do. Alright, so we should be nearly at the end of this quest here. I think. Yeah, we just gotta fight this uh, steam powered thing, whatever they call them. So, bound bow. I will go with a potion of marksman so I just make sure I knock this guy over quickly before he gets to me and hopefully Lydia doesn't even have to get involved because I should be able to knock this guy over before he even gets to me and he's down so that's easy let's pick up this shit here and get out of here I'll take that dwarven oil that's no good. That's good. That's no good. That's good. 
dead body. Grand soldier and bonus. Small leaf is no good. Swallowed metal is brilliant. Uh, Elven arrow, dwarven arrow, a ruby. Alright. So. I need to put the lexicon in there, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wait. And wait is basically just going to put a save point here for me. So. I'm going to look at my armor rating before I do this. So my armor rating is at level 90. And the bottom there next to carry weight, level 90 in armor rating. So... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Right, so I'll put the lexicon in here. And that will give me the uh, ancient knowledge added. And we're out of here. And pretty much what that save point... There's nothing else in here, I don't... No, there's nothing else in here. So what that save point's going to do for me is I'm going to test out what Ancient Knowledge actually does here. Um, it's supposed to increase your armor rating if you're wearing Dwarven armor, but I do believe that they fixed that. They patched it so that it actually um, increases every, every armor um, in the game. As long as you're wearing, I think, a match set. So it's sort of like having that perk in, in the light armor tree or the heavy armor tree, I believe. I think there's a couple of um, spiders and stuff here. Yeah, there's the guy there. I was trying to hit him, but it worked good to send him the other way. And he'll be down, and I think there's a spider somewhere too. Shit, there's the spider there. Up my ass. Kill it, Lydia, kill it. Come on, Lydia, don't look at it, kill it. I'll kill it for you. Don't worry, girl. Alright. You just look pretty, I'll kill the stuff. Okay, let's see what these things have got. Dwarven oil, flawless garnet, beautiful. Levers no good. Bolt greatest. Beautiful. Um and soldier. Yeah, so I think it actually increases everybody's armor rating, no matter what you're wearing, as long as you're wearing a match set, but I don't know what it does with the other half. It's supposed to actually, um... It's supposed to actually says increase smithing 15% faster or something like that, but I don't think it does that. It, it, it used to give you an active effect as if you were wearing a ring of smithing for 15%. Something like that. Uh, I don't know what it does now since they, uh, they apparently patched it, I've been told. Um, so once I get out here I'll check my armor rating and have a look at this active effect to see exactly what it does and then I'll head back to Whiterun what's in here? steel helmet Oh, I'm overweight now, so I have to do... Get Lydia to do stuff for me. Come here, Lydia. I need to drop something on the ground and get Lydia to pick it up because she's actually full. If I go to miscellaneous and... Drop one of them. And then... Talk to Lydia. I need you to do something. What is it? Even though she's full and I can't give her stuff, I can actually tell her to pick stuff up and she'll pick it up even though she's already overweight. So she'll pick that up. Good girl. Anything? Alright, let's look at this active effect. Uh, magic. Active effect. Ancient knowledge. So. Knowledge gained from the lexicon is supposed to give you a 25% bonus when wearing Dwarven armor, but that's not right. I know it gives you a uh, gives everyone a bonus now. Well, that's what it was supposed to do. If I go to uh, my apparel now, yeah, I've gone from 90 to 104 in um, armor rating there, so it does do that. I don't know that it's 25% though. I'd have to do the math on that, and I'm not going to do it out loud here. Um, and the active effect also says that you get. 
increase blacksmithing increases 15 percent faster now i'm going to test that how i'm going to test that is i put that save point there this character here he's picked up the lexicon i'll go back to white run and i will smith say um i'll smith say 50 or 60 rings and then i'll smith say 30 dwarven bows and then i'll look at it and write down the figures and then i'll come back here i'll reload that save and then i'll go to white run without the active effect in place and i'll do exactly the same thing and see if my smithing increases slower or faster or whatever so um that's what i'm going to do so i'll leave this here i don't know that i'll actually show you that um that test because it'll take too long and be a bit boring but i'll tell you the results so i'll see you in white run in a little bit Okay, so I'm back in Whiterun and I'm ready to do some smithing. Um, at the end of the last episode, I said I wanted to test this um, active effect of ancient knowledge. So I come back here with a character um, that had exactly the same uh, same resources to do smithing. So I've smithed it without ancient knowledge. I've done all this smithing without ancient knowledge and I got to level 62 in smithing and finished up with a dwarven dagger that did 27 damage and a, bow, a dwarven bow that did 60 damage um, by improving them on the grindstone. So I want to test now. Now I've got this character here that's got the ancient knowledge. Um, so we know the ancient knowledge does give you a bonus to whatever armor you're wearing. Um, but now we're going to test whether this ancient knowledge actually gives you a uh, blacksmithing increase 15% faster, which I don't think it does. It used to actually give you a thing where, um, as if you were wearing a um, fortify smithing ring for 15%, and you used to be able to, with ancient knowledge, smith uh, improve stuff on the grindstone 15% better than you could if you didn't have ancient knowledge. So they did some kind of patch to it, I believe, so I've been told, and um, I'm just basically testing out what it, what it will do. So I've got to do the same thing as I did and make the same quantities. So I've written down exactly what I made on the first time through without ancient knowledge. Um, and we'll do it again here. Um, so I think I've got a level up to take. So I'm going to go one into Magicka. And I've got all the resources here. I've got to make... Um, I think I've got to make a few more... Um, yeah, I've got to do a bit more transmuting quickly. So the best way to do that with a high elf is use your um, your power. So highborn, and the way highborn makes it. So if I hit highborn, it's going to regenerate magicka quickly. So then I can just double double span that to create um, just spam that out and just create. Uh, do my transmuting. It also works if you want to raise your um, use the muffle spell for example you can hit highborn and then just spam out muffle pretty quickly and get a couple of levels in um, illusion if you wanted to with a um, with a high elf using highborn and then if you when it runs out you can only use it once a day so you just fast forward time 24 hours and you can use highborn again and do this over and over so with the high elf you can actually raise um, do this transmuting or raise illusion if you want to do that pretty quickly by um, using highborn. And it's even better if you got, I think I've got a ring of alteration on and I've also got a necklace that um, magic regenerates 25% faster or something like that. So now I've run out, I don't know if I've actually got any more, yeah, it added silver ore so I might need one or two more. to um, get this done. Now I've got no more auto transmute. So you can exactly, you can raise it pretty quickly with uh, with a high elf. All right, so now I need to um, just quickly finish off here and I've got to make sure I make the exact same numbers. So I've got, I know I've got the same amount of uh, stuff to turn into dwarven ingots. So this character is going to take dwarven smithing just for a change. I normally don't do dwarven smithing. But, um, because there's so much dwarven material to be picked up since the Dawnguard expansion and also I was reading a thing the other day or actually my mate told me then I went reading that there's a new bow as well the new dwarven bow 
Um, so I'll make these these as well. I started with 49 there, so that's the same as the last character. I'll be able to definitively check once I do all the smithing to make sure that I've actually done everything the same. So just double check that Lydia is not carrying any of more of that dwarven right stuff. And I'm well overweight, that's why I still got Lydia with me, so she's got nothing, so let's go and smith. Lead on. Okay. So leather-wise, what have I got? I've got 97 and 76, and that's exactly what I had on the last character, so I made um, leather armor on the last, on the comparison character, so I'll make the leather armor, and as you can see, leather armor still does smithing pretty, raises smithing pretty well. Even after patch 1.5, and then I made one leather braces with that leftover. Okay, and then I went to jewelry, and what I've done here is I've gone through and I counted exactly how many amethysts, how many garnets, um, how many flawless garnets I've got, and I've made silver ingots to match that. So I think I needed 54, but I made 56, so... Um, a silver amethyst ring is 180 in value, so for raising smithing it's worth more than making two gold rings, um, which is only 150, it's not much, but every little bit helps in, in raising your uh, smithing, so I'll make all these silver amethyst rings. I started at level 18 in smithing with this, so we'll make all that. And I'll make these silver garnet rings because there's still value of 10 more than making two gold rings. And they also are more valuable when I come to sell them than a gold ring. And I'll make uh, the silver jeweled necklace. So I'll make them. And then I'll make silver ruby rings. And then I had two left, so I made. One of them, and one of them on the last character. Just um, keep them for enchanting. Then I made this gold necklace, and I made these rings. And then I used my last 38 gold ingots to make gold rings. Which almost they don't raise smithing as much as I don't reckon as making. Well, about the same as leather bra leather armor, I think. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I should have made some of them earlier so I could tell. But anyway, this is just using the resources that these characters collected. So that's got my smithing now to level 52. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I've gone through all that. I've made them. Now I need to level up. And I'll go one more into Magicka. And I will go to smithing and put a couple of perks into smithing. If I can find it. Smith. I'm going to go steel smithing and I'm going to go dwarven smithing. The reason I'm going dwarven smithing is my mate actually told me about a new bow, which is supposed to be a bow that shoots 35% faster. Something 30% faster. And, uh,. He pointed me in the right direction as to how to start the quest and how to get it. It's part of the Dawn Guard expansion. I think it's a bow called Zephyr, which uh, improves with dwarven stuff. So now I'm going to make dwarven bows. Now I've just got to be careful here. I've got to leave four ingots left over at the end of this to be the same as the other character, so I can do the comparison on um, whether this um, ancient knowledge does do anything for me. I need to get my finger out of my ass and spam this button. Right, nearly there. I need to leave four dwarven ingots left. That's it. So that's the same amount of dwarven bows. So that put ten levels on me. Okay, now I need to see if this woman here can sell me a um Got some good pieces out here. I don't claim to a steel ingot so I can make a dwarven dagger. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. He's got what? 
steal or please have a stealing got she hasn't got a stealing got fuck okay um Don't wonder if the bloke inside's got a stealing got I really need a steel ingot so I can make the dagger so I can do the comparison um, as to smithing with and without the uh, ancient knowledge. Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl. Yes. We've got don't patronize me. Take a look. Please have a steel ingot, dude. Yeah, he's got steel ingot. So I'll buy all of them. I'll buy that. I'll buy the lock. I might as well buy the iron ore. And the iron ingots, and the leather, and the dwarven stuff. Okay, that'll do me. So now I will sell shit back to him, so I will sell some of my dwarven bows back to him. So, and if you sell them one at a time, you actually make more of an increase in your speech, but sort of a slow and arduous task to do works better with more expensive stuff like potions but it still works with anything you sell is sell it one at a time and you will make uh you'll get increases in speech quicker not so not so much just selling a bow with um so you get a speech increase a lot quicker Enough of that shit. Done. Alright, so let's go out and make a dwarven dagger. With you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll see where we are. I don't think, by the look of it, I think my uh, my actual smithing level was 62, I think, from memory, by having a quick look there. So let's make a dwarven dagger. And that'll become my new dagger that I use, so I'll make one dwarven dagger. And smithing is exactly the same as uh, it's gonna go up a little bit when I improve the bow on that, and it's gonna be 62 and 3 quarters in smithing level. Exactly the same with ancient technology and without ancient technology by the look of it. So I'll improve that that bow. And I'll improve that dagger. And I'll improve that dagger while I'm here too. Right. Let's have a look at where we finished up here. Um, I need to put on... When I looked I had the rings of archery on. My two 18% rings. So I need to find them and put them on. A ring and a necklace of archery. So weapons wise, uh, where do we stand here? The Dwarven Dagger is 27, exactly the same as I um, as I made by having the uh, ancient effect, te uh, ancient technology um, active effect not in place. And I've made a Dwarven Bow that's 60, which is exactly the same as when I had the uh, no ancient... Uh, technology active effect in place so and the other thing I did do on this character in active effects I had ancient technology active on this one and on the other character I did have lover's comfort as well I went and slept for um, a few hours and got lover's comfort and I got the warrior stone active to make so those two make smithing increase faster and as far as I can tell this ancient technology um, it does give you a 25% bonus um, to whatever armor you're wearing. Um, I tried it in some other armor I had when I went and slept. Had some like leather armor or something in a chest up there and it was exactly the same. I still got the 20, I got the bonus to it. But the bit at the bottom, blacksmithing increases 15% faster is not, not active. It doesn't work. And also you used to on this, um, with ancient knowledge, get a, um, sort of as if you were wearing a, um, a ring of improved smithing for 15% and um, it doesn't seem to you don't seem to get any bonus like that anymore either now 
So as far as I can tell, that bottom bit blacksmithing increases 15% faster. There's just nothing happens there at all. Um, doesn't do anything. So how does that stack up against the bound bow? Now that dwarven bow I've just made um, should be getting sort of close to where I gather. So weapons. So my uh, bound bow is doing 83 damage, and the dwarven bow would do 68 damage with an iron arrow. So the dwarven bow, even after all that smithing, still hasn't caught up to what the bound bow is um, is capable of doing. And the bound bow could still be even taken further. Um, I've got another go stamina. And the bound bow, I can actually get more damage out of if I wanted to by going to um, the conjuration. And going to Mystic Binding. So the Bound Bow, if I take Mystic Binding, the Bound Bow will go about 33% better in damage. So that would raise 33% just by going Mystic Binding. And also, I don't think I've taken in my archery, I haven't taken um, Fourth Perk in the bottom here yet. So I can I can get another another 20% on top of those bow ratings that I've just shown you. So that's it. As far as I can work out, Ancient uh, the active effect of Ancient Knowledge does give you a 25% bonus to whatever armor you're wearing, but it doesn't give you any bonus whatsoever to smithing or um, using the grindstone like it used to. So, she's broken as far as I can tell, unless there's something happening behind the scenes that I don't know of, but um, this test I've just done, doing exactly the same smithing with and without Ancient Knowledge, and we finish up with exactly the same numbers at the end of it, so she's broken. And uh, that'll be the end of this. What I'm probably going to do now is I'm probably going to go and start this quest. See if I can find the book that I was told about. Starts a quest to go and get a bow called Zephyr. And see what that bow is all about.